a minute video on this. It's literally 10 seconds later, that video just ended and I was in the middle of talking. I knew that was going to happen. When I record on that camera, my camera which is over there, I don't know if you can see it. I'll bring you into that. I didn't record like 17 minutes for about 10 seconds before it runs out of recording space, the numbers go red, so I know I have to wrap it up. It doesn't do it with this phone. But then I've never recorded a really long video. Should I record another video now? I think I'm just going to keep going because, like I said, I've got nothing better to do. Sick of playing Pokemon, but I think if you're watching this video, hello. But I think I've made all my main points in the first video now. I don't know if I'll make any other points that are of significance. <sighs> Can you believe I'm 32 and I've never had a partner? Hey, same partner. I said this before. Sounds like a science experiment partner. It feels like every aspect of life is more complicated, like all this stuff with pronouns, gender fluidity. I hate it. You're male or you're female. You're straight or you're bi or you're the other one. I don't like saying the word. I suppose I'm bi, but I don't know. I can't say I'm bi now because I've never been with a woman. But like that guy said, you're so masochistic and self-hating and self-loathing that you're probably straight. Like my friend Theo, if I'm like, apologies again if I say anything rude or offensive. Um, it's like Chris's kind of humour. He talks about a woman's vagina and he'll, he'll make those kinds of jokes. I don't think I need to go into detail. But if I said something like that to Theo, my friend Theo, I'm not going to go into detail about Theo. If you want to know more about Theo, ask and I'll make a separate video about it. This is the point where I should have kept all my old videos. What are you going to do? Um, I think I did make the video about Theo. It was called Talking About Relationships. But it was recorded outdoors and I think the picture was really bad. So I don't think anyone's going to miss that video. If I said to Theo, woman's vagina, you'd be like, ooh, stop. Ooh, stop saying that, please. With me, it's like, oh, I don't care if I say that. I can be crude. I don't swear or I'm not really obnoxious or rude or crude or make those lewd kind of jokes. But I don't mind saying that kind of thing. I suppose on some level I say to like impress Chris or to try and shock him. So that's his kind of humour, it's like perverse, shocking, crude humour. I don't hate that kind of stuff. So yeah, I kind of say that stuff to try and impress him, I suppose, on some level. I say the stuff to Theo, he's like, oh, shut up. He finds women, like, scary or something. Doesn't even want to talk to women. I'm not that funny. I talk to women sometimes out in public when I'm picking trash. They start a conversation with me. Have you been picking that trash, have you? Oh, well done, and then we'll say other things. It's been a while since that's happened. It's been like a few months. <sighs> Do I really need to make this video? <clears throat> Maybe I should continue the room tour. Should I do that? Maybe I should. I think I've really covered everything. There's plush toys up there which I need to throw out. They've got a sheet on top of them because... Again, as I mentioned in the room tour, the other room tour video, people were doing repairs on the roof outside and plaster was falling down, so I had to cover that with a sheet. Same reason why there's a sheet on this book, bookcase. And I've never removed it because I'm like a bit of a germaphobe. In that drawer, there's like lots of stacks of newspaper or newspaper clippings. Those blue folders, then we can see them there. Apologies, the light keeps going off. Newspaper clippings in there. Under that desk, magazines, more DVDs, and there's like a box with random stuff. DVDs in there, and again, to the left there's more like um, newspaper clippings. That's really it. I think I mentioned everything else. I had about seven jigsaws there, but I've donated about five to the thrift store. And there used to be old Futurama videos hung in, ba hung in bags on the back of that door behind that dressing gown. I've since donated them. And there's TV guides and uh, magazines in there. 
I'll probably will throw out tomorrow's more TV cards. Yeah. Fascinating. <clears throat> yeah, I really don't know what to say now. I think I've made all my points. Will this get any comments? I wonder. Not this video I'm making now, but the one I just recorded, the hour-long video, I wonder. I think it probably did hit exactly an hour and that's why it stopped. I don't think it was anything to do with space, because I'm still talking now. That's kind of annoying. Um. Yeah, comments on this video, or the previous video, I should say. I don't know, I don't do very well for comments. I think in the early days I got quite a lot of comments like, well that video was crying. Yeah, I'm not ashamed to leave that up because I don't know. On some level that might help people, a video of me crying my eyes out about my circumstances. You can't feel sympathy for me because nothing's happened, nothing bad's happened to me to make me this way. I just am this way. My neighbours are talking very loudly, they're not on. It's distracting. My mother's probably going to come up to bed in about half an hour. When my parents walk into a room, I walk out the room. It's become second nature now to do that. It's because it's big questions they're going to throw my way. They're not just going to say good morning. It's going to be like big questions that I'm not prepared to face ever. Run away scared. Questions about moving house or getting a job. Things like that. If we all moved house, that wouldn't take away any problems. I don't see how it would. And they're not planning to move like to a new city or a new country. They're talking about like, um, I don't know, like two hours away, moving like two hours away from here. Fathers are saying, would you like to live in Australia? It's like, oh yeah, I'd love a 30 year old man still living with his parents. I'd love that. They always, they're always asking me for, like, decorating advice. What colour do you think that room should be? What wallpaper do you like? I mean, all, and I say to myself, well, it's not up to me, is it? If I say I like red paint, but you like blue paint, it's going to be blue paint, isn't it? What I say doesn't count for anything. I think it's the same for, like, I'm not going to say most families, but it's like the woman is always right. Whatever the wife of the house wants, she gets. No, isn't always the case. I'm sure it's the case with most families. In a similar sort of situation. If the husband wants red paint, the children want blue paint and the wife wants green paint. The paint's gonna be green, isn't it? There's not gonna be any compromise. Whatever the woman wants she gets. My mother can be very volatile. When I finished school and college, when I finished my education, I should have just jumped straight into a job. Or started having that set up, if you will. Have that in place. So I could have made that smooth transition. But now what happened was there was a long gestation where I didn't do anything. I finished at the Liverpool College Secondary School in 2004. Um... 2005, 2006, spent two years at, like, um, it's shocking how little I know about my own life. Um, a community college. Don't ask what course I did. Something to do with art. <laughs> Again, it's so shocking how little I know about anything. If you'd asked me what GCSEs I've got, what grades I've got, couldn't I tell you? If you'd asked me what I had for breakfast two days ago, I couldn't tell you. Um... I really am amazing, aren't I? Why am I still single? Um, yeah, community college, 2006, 2005, 2006. I was there for two years doing art. And then there was something like a green bank. I don't even know what it was. Again, say shocking. 2007, there was this green bank. Like, again, it was like a... Um, community college type thing, Green Bank School. It was like a computer course. 
It's basically just like inputting data. I don't have any documents to back it up as well. Nothing. I don't think I've saved anything from that time. When I was there. I just stopped going one day. I went for about eight months. And then I just stopped going. I just felt like I was getting nothing out of it. Again, it's like the mental health meetup thing. There's people there that have physical, noticeable disabilities. The way they speak, the way they carry themselves, whether it's they're in a wheelchair or they're on crutches or they can't speak clearly. Or they have problems with like their motor functions in some way. Or they have like awkwardness or shyness. Say if I was to go up to them and say, hello, they'd be like, hi, yeah, hello. Just like with that, like with that, like with that. With that, along with the mental health meeting going to now, there's no one like that. I'm hoping someone like goes out of their way to make friends with me. It's like when I was there as well, the mental health meeting, which is, God, how long ago was it now? It was the last Friday of November. Again, I didn't go to the Christmas one because I wasn't feeling in the Christmas spirit. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't going out of my way to talk to people. I wasn't walking up to everyone that was there, was like holding out my hand, like, hello, nice to meet you. But at the same time, if someone came up to me, I would hold a conversation. I was like, hi, yeah, how are you? My name is, I'm from this part of Liverpool. And these are the things I like to do. Yeah. I, think I feel like I've begun to circle now. I don't know if I've said anything else that's of importance. <clears throat> but yeah, you can probably stop watching now if you are still watching. I think the meat of the subject matter has been expunged. Does that even make sense? <sighs> really should not be making videos anymore, I don't think. No, I've deleted all my content. I do not want to record another music collection video. Just do that all again. I don't really want to do that. I'm not motivated to do that. Record all the music collection again called reading Robin's Nest again, whatever it was called, Robin's Cove, reading that out again, walking around parks. Just know that it, in the event I did make those videos, my heart's not in it at all. Has my heart ever been in making a video? Maybe when I address mental health specifically, it is. Yeah. Like those music videos. Like have, have I ever made a good video? Of course I haven't. Here's the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper. Here's the Beatles, Abbey Road album. That's basically what those videos were for anyone who's new to my videos. I basically had videos where I was sitting at my kitchen table downstairs. My parents' kitchen table, I should say, not mine. Because everything's theirs. It's basically just me sitting in a chair showing the CDs I had in my collection. Um, I got this CD when I was 13 and it cost me this much. And I bought it because I liked it. That's basically what it is. I feel like a stupid person. I feel like everything that comes out of my mouth is retarded. Bought this CD when I was six. Oh, God. Don't call me on my videos. Oh, you're a good drawer. You're very good for helping the environment. I feel like on some level, on some level I appreciate, it's like I'm never happy, though at the same time. I appreciate everyone for like, giving support and encouragement. And saying kind things. But sometimes it comes across as like. Well done. Aren't you good for doing that? It's like patronising sometimes. It's like imagine if I don't know. Tim Peake the astronaut. Landed on earth. And someone said. Oh Tim aren't you good for doing that? Imagine that. An astronaut just comes back to earth. And someone pats them on the head. Oh aren't you good for circumnavigating the globe? Well done. Here's a lollipop. There's this part of me that wants to make really off the wall, crazy, zany videos. I'm just happy because that's what people tune into YouTube for. They either tune in to be educated or to be entertained, mostly to be entertained. And I don't provide any of that. It's just me um, venting. It's like, but I wouldn't know what to do. I'd love to like make funny videos because there's, there's so many times where I'm not recording videos 
and I'm completely different to how I am in the video. I'm like talking to myself and I'll be dancing around my room and making like little jokes and things like that. I can't do that as soon as I turn the camera on and start recording. It's like I feel self-conscious or something and I shouldn't. I've tried to do this thing I think on some, I try on some level to like start recording the video then leave the room and go do something to try and get out of my head that I'm not recording a video and then come in the room and do silly, stupid stuff to try and be entertaining. What do I have to work with though? I've got nothing to work with. First of all, I've got no one to work with. It's easier just to keep doing this in my hair. It looks like really flat on my hair. It's not at all. It's easier just to be serious, I guess. It's effort to like be funny. I've been told I have a dry sense of humour. <sighs> I'm getting a bit bored now. <laughs> Be asleep. Two hours, nine minutes precisely. I'll be asleep because that's how I am. <sighs> I remember when I was singing El Chupacabra? That was funny. I remember it like it was interesting. That rash on my... Right hip has gone by the way, you can't see me. It's because the light's gone out. Oh. Can't see nothing. Yeah, a lot of things that happen in my day, or what takes up a good portion of my day, not a good portion, but maybe like, there's probably like a 40 to 50 minute window every day. I'll play songs on YouTube, and I can't really show, but I'll be like this. And then that's probably everyone does that. They listen to songs on YouTube, you're not just listening to the songs, are you? On some level you're singing along. I'm not describing anything strange, am I? What, what could be considered strange behaviour? Or out of character behaviour that not many people do? Right. I suppose one thing, but I don't really do it that much anymore. But I kind of did it today, a few hours ago, earlier today. I was in the front room watching TV. I could hear my mother coming down the stairs or I could hear her moving around. Her room is directly above the front living room. And I could hear her moving around or coming downstairs. So I was like this. Say like say like that door is the front door or the door to the um the lounge. You know what I mean by the front room? Imagine that's the door. And imagine like that mirror is the TV. So I'll be like this, crouch watching the TV, because that's what I do now. And say like that's the fireplace, those books are the fireplace. You can't see me, but there's nothing I can do about that. Um, on some level, I like to do this. I'm just waiting for my mother to walk in the room, or my father. And I can just be standing like this, and then they'll open that door. And they'll be like this, oh! Hello! I'm not like got my hands up in the air. I'm not like doing this. I'm not like jumping out like ah to surprise them. I don't do that. I'm just standing there like this with like a blank look on my face. I don't do this all the time. I do it maybe once a week. And it always surprises them. I'm standing very close to the door maybe. Standing like the door's like right there. As soon as they open it, they like turn in, they'll be like taken aback. So that could be considered strange behaviour. I don't make a habit of doing it. It's like, I don't know, on some level it's me entertaining myself. Come on, light. For fuck's sake. It's doing that. Uh, yeah, I genuinely don't see my life changing at all. I lack the motivation for it to change. And it's covered in dust. Uh. <clears throat> I'm not sitting here watching YouTube all the time. Like I said, I'm spending less time in my room. I have this on like five hours a day, which maybe sounds like quite a lot, but I don't think it is. And I go on my PC. Sometimes I'll do things. I tell myself I have to do things one at a time. 
like I always listen to 12 songs a day on there. There's a lot of like obsessive habits I've got into that I've kicked and a lot that I haven't. For instance, playing Pokemon. I used to play Pokemon for four hours a day and now I'm not playing it at all. What else was there? Obsessive habits. Um, I don't know. Like, you you can see tissue paper all around the room. There's loads of stuff with tissue paper underneath. Tissue there. Um, underneath that. See, I've still got that grey wire, which is the charger for the Nintendo DS. I don't even use it anymore, so I should really put that away. Tissue under all those books. Again, this is like a germaphobe kind of thing. Um, yeah. Tissue under the legs of those chairs. That's just me telling myself I don't want it to damage the chair, so I think that's legitimate. Put a tissue under the legs of the chairs. Table legs. But not under the books. Not really. It's not necessary, is it? Where was I going with this now? I completely forgot what I was going to say. Ugh. Um, yeah, obsessive habits. Yeah, the tissue. I used to have tissue. Like, imagine that. Like, squares of tissue. Imagine that's like a whole square of tissue. Like, a, not it's not ripped. I used to be like this. I'd slide around the room. It's like freaking Howard Hawks or something. Howard Hawks? Howard Hughes? My father used to call me Howard Hughes. It was a joke sometimes. I used to do that, if you can imagine. A square under each foot. And then, for instance... <coughs> then I'd come up to the... This makes me sound like a crazy person, but I don't do this anymore. Like I said, this is one of the habits that I've kicked. But one of the habits I haven't kicked is listening to 12 songs a day on my PC. Not 10, not 13, not just 2. I have to listen to 12, and they're usually just random songs. And like I said, doing things one thing at a time, like I'll sign into DeviantArt, post some comments, check some art, then I'll sign out, then go onto Reddit, respond to some messages, check some posts, sign out. Then I'll go into my email, check my messages, sign out. Then I'll go to Instagram, check stories, sign out. That sort of thing. Some days I'll just do it all at once, I'll multitask. In other days, I feel compelled to do it one thing at a time. But yeah, tissue. This is the thing again I used to do. Slide tissue and then one on one to come out of the room. It's hard to like show in a video. Like Imagine I've got two pieces of tissue under my feet. I take one square, do that. I take the other square and do that. I'll be doing this, like taking steps with the tissue, like this. What I'm doing now, if you can imagine. No, I don't do that. Tissue under my feet doesn't go anymore. I don't know why I'm like feeling I need to explain. Because I haven't made progress at all. I've made like this much progress in my life when it comes to like obsessive habits. Um. So yeah, I used to do that, and then I'd vacuum the stairs. I still. I probably used to vacuum like this landing and that bathroom rug. I'd vacuum it like four or five times a day. And now um, I'm getting better. I just vacuum it once a day now. I tell myself, just do it once a day. And I've been doing that since the beginning of the year. So that's one obsessive thing I've done. Another thing is like privacy. My mother used to always lock her door. And she doesn't do it anymore. And I'm just being like quiet right now because I'm not looking at anything. Um, I look quite handsome. Well, my mother calls me handsome. Um, my mother used to lock her door and she doesn't anymore. My father used to and he doesn't anymore. I still lock my door. I don't lock it when I'm not in here. So say for instance I'm downstairs or something. I don't lock it. I used to do that then. If I'm not in the room, I lock it. Even if I'm just going downstairs to watch TV for 10 minutes or I'm going in the kitchen to make a sandwich. I have to lock the door. Go down, make the sandwich, eat it, then come back up, unlock the door. I lock it when I leave the house. I'm not explaining this very well. I don't think I'm explaining it very well. Apologies. Um, if someone was coming upstairs, say for instance I'm sitting here on my PC and I've got the door open like it is now. If I hear someone coming up the stairs, I quickly run and I do this. I panic like that. 
I do that. I hear someone coming up the stairs because I'm thinking to myself someone's locking in my room. But now, say for instance I've got the door like that. I'd never open all the way like that, never. I would never have it open all the way like that with me just sitting there. So I'm not completely like over my habits, if you will. But say the door's like that. Someone comes upstairs. I'm fine with leaving it like that. And then I'm here on my PC. There'd be lots of times when my parents would ask me, have you got a laptop? And I'd pretend like I didn't hear them or I'd always say no. Because I didn't like to admit to that for some reason. I hate being asked that. My father would ask me that question like once every two weeks. And I'd just like leave the room or pretend I didn't hear or something. But I'm kind of that. I don't really get asked that anymore. But yeah, that's something I don't do anymore. If someone comes upstairs, I don't suddenly run and close the door like that. Um, yeah. But one thing I still do is... If I, if I just put my foot on the marble floor, I'm just doing it for the purposes of this video. But I still... Move around the bathroom, I don't know if you can see because of the door. Still move around the bathroom like this. With my feet on this rock thing. Again. Let's say I can put my feet on there. But I'm kind of just doing it for the purpose of this video. Just to show you I can. Doesn't mean I'm going to, in the foreseeable future, do that all the time. So you see what I mean? It's like I'm getting over and seeing now I'm walking in here. like. Five years ago, I would never have dreamed of doing something like that. I could never put these feet on the marble floor in the bathroom and then put my feet in here. Don't say well done or something like that, because it's not really well done. It's like being told well done for using a knife and fork. But yeah, like I said, basically, I can happily walk on that. Place is terrible. I can quite happily walk on that bathroom floor now, from time to time, like it's nothing. But I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. I guess that's what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, everything I've said is true. I am making minimal progress in my obsessive habits, but not a great deal. Uh, what else can I say? I don't know what time is it. 10.20, I'm guessing. So another thing I do is I always guess the time with myself. It's like a little game I play with myself. I always guess the time. I'm usually quite good with my guesses. It's like my way of entertaining myself. Never had friends growing up. Like my father was my... Uh, I hate to say my father was like my friend growing up. And it wasn't enjoyable at all. Not really. Because when I look back on that, it just reminds me my father didn't have a job. My father doesn't have friends really either. He went to a football game today. But outside of like outside of like going to a football game, he doesn't socialise with people and he doesn't have a job. I just think to myself looking back on those times. My whole childhood really I didn't I didn't feel like I had a childhood. Boo hoo pardon me, I know. I didn't though have a childhood. I had friends in school and college, don't get me wrong. There were times when I made friends, but it was all confined within the school. There was never, I would never meet someone outside of school to like, I don't know, go to a club or go to their house to play video games. That never happened. Never did that. I made friends. It all took place in the classroom. I think I did have one person I was friends with. And they would, I think they did ask me a few times if I wanted to come over. And I always made an excuse like I couldn't. I could go, but I just, I don't know. I think I felt like anxious or something. Yeah, it's about 10.32. My mother's, my mother's putting them up soon. <sighs> A lot of food for thought in this video. In these two videos, I should say. Yeah, so the whole slide and tissue thing. And when I was saying that, when I was thinking that or saying that just now, I was thinking to myself, for someone like Chris, that's like... We're like the odd couple, aren't we? We're not, we're not a couple. It's like so far removed from him. It's like I'm the really clean guy and he's like the slob in some, in some respects. 
you would never dream of doing something like that. But he's probably got a very strange, he's probably got his own strange habits and ways of doing things. Like, um, oh, another thing. Yes. Like I said, I've been spending a lot of my time downstairs in the front room watching TV. And I'll sometimes, on the table in that front room, I'll have like, um, my diaries or some paper and I'll draw or I'll write in my diary. As opposed to sitting in my chair and writing in here, which I could do, but I don't really want to. Like I said, I'm getting a bit sick of being in my room, spending a lot of time in my room. Sometimes, because lately, like this week and last week, I feel a bit sick. I'll just lie with my back on the floor of the lounge. Now, something like that, again, five years ago, would have been unthinkable. Come on here so you can see me a bit better. I don't know. I can't hold the camera very well. It's the light. Apologies. Can't help if the light's not working. Um, so yeah, I would lie on my back in the front room, maybe while TV's playing or just taking a break from writing. And then I'd come upstairs and I'd sit in my chair, maybe later in the day, five hours later. Now, five hours ago, something like that would have been unthinkable because my back has touched the floor. The floor's not dirty. We don't have a dirty house, do we? Not at all. Um, I think the house is like 99% clean. No house is 100% clean. But we don't have like a dog or anything. We don't have loads of guests over. We don't really have any guests over. I think my aunt. My brother comes by maybe three times a week. And my aunt maybe once a week and that's it really. But yeah, five years ago I would never been thought of to just lay my back on the floor in the front room, in the front room or any room. And then sit on this chair because my back has touched the floor then. And now my back is touching this chair. I would never have to do that. I'd either have to, like, five years ago, if I was doing that, if I lay on the floor in the front room five years ago with my back and my clothes on the floor, I'd have to get changed out of those clothes, put on different clothes, and then I could sit in this chair. That's what I would have done. You, you see now how crazy I am and how obsessive I am. Don't do that anymore, though. I upgraded from that to... And then I think about three years later or three years ago, instead what I would do is I'd lie on the floor, I'd take my clothes off, take my shirt off, take my trousers off. Do Americans say trousers? I don't think they do. I'd iron the back. So, like, iron the back of this shirt, iron the back of my pants... And then put them back on. And in my mind, it's like those clothes are fresh. They've been freshened up or clean. They're clean now because they've been touched with a very hot iron. So that's like eradicated the germs, if you will. That's what I used to tell myself in the back of my head. So like I've done that, so now I can sit down. But now, what's been happening like the last, since the beginning of last year, I'll lay on the floor with this shirt on, with these pants on. I haven't ironed them, I haven't swapped my clothes, and I'm just sitting here now. I'm not ironing the clothes, I'm not taking them off, I'm replacing them with new ones. I'm just sitting on the chair. So you see how obsessive and bad I can get. This should be in the first video I made. I deleted all my videos and told myself, right, I'm going to make like an introduction now. This should have been the introduction right here, this kind of video. As I was saying that, introduction's usually like one minute. It's like, hey guys, I'm John, and I unbox Funko Pops and all this stuff. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, I all those kinds of channels. Yeah, you see, like, I'm getting better in those habits. I've gone from changing my clothes completely when I need to sit in a chair to ironing the back of them to now just not doing any of that. And again, another thing I used to do, how long are we recording? 34 minutes. This is basically just a refresher course to break down me and what I'm about and how I behave. I think I'll just suddenly stop talking soon because my mother's going to come to bed. Um, yeah, another crazy habit. If I wanted to leave the house, well, I still lock this door when I leave the house. That hasn't changed. What used to happen was I have to wait for my parents to leave the house before I left the house. 
there'd be times where I want to leave the house just to go to the store because that's basically all I ever do is go to the supermarket and buy food. So I were in my room, this is like five plus years ago. If I was in my room and I wanted to buy food, I'd have to wait for both my parents to go out. They'd both have to go out and then once they did go out, as soon as they go out, I'd get up, lock this door, leave the house, walk to the nearest supermarket, which is only like 20 minutes away, buy what I wanted to buy, come home. And there'd be occasions where it's like, there'd be some occasions where they'd come back before me, come back home before me. There'd be occasions where they'd come back like three hours after me. So it's like, oh, I could have been out for hours. I could have spent loads of time out. I could have gone out for three hours, but I only went out for ten minutes, something like that. But now it's just like I go out whenever I want. Another person doesn't have to leave the house because I was like paranoid, I think, because people getting in my room. Which I'm still a little bit paranoid about, but not completely. Um, yeah. Even though I just said, I think I just said that um, I leave the house for 90 minutes. It just happens to work out that way in 90 minutes. Because like I said, I've got nowhere to go, have I? Um, I pick trash. I go to the store. And then by the time I've done those things, it's about 90 minutes. Cause that's how long it takes. Picking trash takes about roughly an hour. Going to the supermarket takes roughly half an hour. So it just sort of works out about 90 minutes. So I just round up to 90 minutes. Sometimes it's 70 minutes. Sometimes it's 100 minutes. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it there now and get ready for bed, maybe. Should I keep talking? I don't know. That's me. Uh, I was getting so frustrated and depressed with myself, I really wanted to just delete all my videos again now. Don't be surprised if I do. Again, I feel like it's a newspaper, it's like nothing to lose. I don't want to delete my channel. I'm not going to delete my channel, I really don't want to. For one thing, it would mean... If I deleted my channel, all my comments would disappear, wouldn't I? I don't want that to happen. Um, I don't want anyone else to lose their channels and comments. I can't comment on most videos anymore. I've been seeing this all week. It's like comments are blocked. You can't comment on any videos because of freaking copper, which is annoying. It's spoiling it for everyone. It's taking the fun out of YouTube. <sighs> I kind of want to stuff my face and eat tonight, but at the same time, I'm trying not to eat. I'm going to lift up my shirt now. Because why not? A little bit of a belly, haven't I? You probably couldn't see it anyway because the light's so bad in here. I think bad things would happen to ugly people, but they don't. I think I've always had like permanent bags under my eyes. I don't know if you can really see in this light very well. But I've always had like bags under my eyes, I feel, my whole life. I sleep for six hours a day, don't like my nose. Again, it's all quiet because people are downstairs. I've talked about this before, like these lines around my mouth. And I was like, oh, it's like anyone else would be like, oh, it's just like your flesh. Yeah, everyone has that. You know, I feel like they're really distinguishable. There's a better light in here. The audio is different. Because it is. I look better when the camera's further away. Face right to the camera, and it's like got a big round, not oval shaped head. Is between my eyes. I suppose for the most part I look good for my age. I just don't feel my age. I don't feel much of anything. I always do this now, usually. I don't really take pictures anymore. I haven't really taken pictures. Aside from taking pictures of trash, I don't really take pictures anymore. I went to the zoo with Theo and was like, I always do this in pictures. I never used to do that. I think I look better when I smile without teeth. 
They usually smile like this. <clears throat> I watch Star Trek Discovery. I might draw something like that. So many times when I go to bed, it's like I want to go to bed and not wake up. Never accomplished that. Still don't know. I'd invite anyone to live the life that I've led and be happy. Get so many people messaging me or leaving a comment saying, have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's like, yeah, I'm not going. I can't respond with that, can I then? I can't respond to someone and say, yeah, I'm not going to have a good day. Regardless of whether or not I'm in a good mood or not. Have I ever had a good day? I haven't had a good day since I stopped going to college, probably. I'm not going to school. Ask me have a good day when I spend all my time in company. Just reading magazines, jerking off, reading my diary. Apologies again if I've said anything in videos that offend people. It's not my intention. If I've offended any kind of minorities. But... <sighs> I'd love some people to be more engaged with me, but they're not. I tell myself it's because they've got lives. They've got lives, they've got friends, they've got... Well, some of them don't have jobs, but some of them have, like, commitments. I don't have any commitments. I'm not important to anyone, really, am I? No one relies on me, no one would miss me. Like I said, I said in a Twitter comment, if I died, how would anyone know? Say I killed myself. I'm not going to. I say I killed myself. No one would know. A week would pass and then people would probably be checking my channel or checking my Twitter thinking, oh, where's Alan? I hope Alan's okay. He calls me, how would you know? You wouldn't know, would you? It's not the case for other people. Like, for instance, if, if something's happened to Chris, if something happened to Hector Madrigal, there would be, like, comment from one of their friends or family because with those people it's like I know one of their friends or I know one of their family or I know someone who knows them and I'd find out from them like something happened to Chris I would find out from Dylan or I'd find out from Sam or something some point down the line whereas with me it's just me isn't it you don't know any of my parents or siblings or any friends of mine because they're not my friends no one would know something happened to me kind of sad I post on Instagram every day. So it's probably three things a day, but my content is really crappy now on Instagram. I used to really love posting on Instagram, but I don't enjoy it anymore. I haven't enjoyed it for like the last four months. Because I'm just posting old drawings again. And pictures from family photo albums. The only pictures of family photo albums, there aren't any new pictures of me in family photo albums. They're all of my parents and my brother and the rest of the family. Not with me. Any pictures of me in like photo albums, it's from when I was like, I don't know what the oldest picture would be, probably like 18, 19, maybe 20. But there's nothing in photo albums of me since then because I don't go to any family functions or events. I keep to myself all the time. The very rare instance, I think, when I went to my like cousin's birthday party, this was probably like 2007 or something. I haven't seen these people. Just not a party person. I've never been to a club or a party. I've never been to a concert. Not really. Majority of parties I have been to, it's like little kids' birthday parties when I was like 16. Yeah. What time is it now? 10.49. Don't mess with the wrong one. Look at me.
was stalling for this and putting off being an adult and a responsibility. So with that comes change, with that comes responsibility, with that comes sacrifice. And I'm not prepared to make sacrifice. Excuse me. Apologies I'm throwing up on you, but I'm getting dressed now, so you can't see me getting dressed. I'm literally opening the basket right next to this laundry rack that the bin is rusting in. I know I keep my laundry in my room, which is the room that we just did. It's all kept on this laundry rack or in the dirty clothes in the basket next to it. Just like I don't sleep in my own bed. But then my father and mother don't share the same bed, so I feel my mother telling me to sleep in my own bed is kind of hypocritical. And they don't share a bed as a couple. because I make 70 pound a week. I probably answer up to 3,600 pound a year. You know, it's not a lot for someone my age. I should be making like eight times that much. 3,600 pound I'm making. And that's including like birthday and Christmas bonus. So end of 